What's going on guys? So today I'm out here on this very, very windy day at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas. Man, they got some nice boats. Maybe I need to start doing boat stuff. But we are looking at this absolutely cool E450 Cutaway Chassis Coachman Freelander RV. Now, I know I don't do a lot of motorhomes, but when I stumbled across this unit, I was like, man, I gotta show you this thing because it is super cool, relatively compact, and offers quite a bit. I mean, it's, it's really cool. And you can see that it already has two slide outs on this side. So let's take a closer look at this unit. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so I don't feel like I need to go over the numbers on one of these, mainly because you're not gonna be towing it, right? It's mainly uh, an RV that already has everything built together. You have your motor, you have your, your tow vehicle, essentially with the RV built onto it. And this is gonna be a class C RV, which essentially means it's a cutaway chassis with a sleeper over the main cab portion. Thing's relatively short. If I had to venture to say it's probably about 30 feet long, but it's got a lot of cool perks on the inside. This is one that I could actually see my family owning if we wanted to just take some trips around the country and have everything all combined together. Let's hop inside of this RV and then we'll come back out and we'll take a closer look at some of the things going on on the outside, even though there's not a lot of room to open up some of these uh, little cabinet areas. And I can already tell there's an own-in generator right there because I see the exhaust pipe coming out. But yeah, let's hop on the inside of this. So again, this is gonna be built on the E450 chassis. It's gonna have the 7.3 liter Godzilla V8 gas engine in it. You can already see it has surround cameras around it as well. Plus it has these really, really nice extension towing mirrors and really they're designed to be able to see around this box on the back, which is part of the cutaway chassis. Cutaway simply means when this thing starts its life, it starts off as a van front, it stops right here and it's just frame rails going back and they add all of this to it to turn it into a class C RV. Anyways, let's uh, hop inside this really cool RV. Now, first thing worth noting, I open the door, there's no steps that protrude out right here. The first step to get inside is probably about 18 inches off the ground. They just have some small pieces of carpet right here to provide kind of a, an easy way for people to wipe their shoes off while they're viewing it. Down here, your stabilization system. So this is what you're gonna use to level out the RV. On this side, all your breakers, power disconnect, you're gonna have lighting right here, and you're also gonna have a furnace vent right there. All right, now I am not the expert in motorhomes, so you know you gotta go to like Matt's RV reviews if you wanna look at that stuff. But um, I do think that a lot of the similarities between a towable unit and an RV unit are worth looking at. So first of all, behind, or right when you walk into the left, you have some storage right here. You have your typical RV panel control here for water pump, uh, electric water heaters, generator, all of that stuff right here. And that's cool that they put the generator start stop button up here as well. Thermostat right here. You have some nice storage up here with USB ports. I do wish they would have centered that better. It's a little crooked. And then an HDMI connection up there. Down here you have this really nice little L style wraparound booth dinette, which I really like. This is really cool. And one of the reasons why when I looked through the window and opened the door, I wanted to show you this is because look at all the seating space you have in here for traveling. You have a seatbelt right here, one right there, one right there, and then you have seatbelts right here. So you could travel with a relatively large family with this unit. And that's one of the things that's lacking in a lot of motorized units. You don't have a lot of space for passengers if you're gonna be traveling. And if you do have space, sometimes it's at the very back. So this is very functional space. Stop and look at the price real quick. This has an MSRP of $135,189, a sale price of $110,000. So they're taking about 25 grand off of the MSRP. Nice cabinetry above. I like that they put these little holds up here as well. Really nice overhang. So this is the class C portion of it, complete with TV already mounted in place. 800 pound capacity. You can move this part out of the way as well if you want to have more headroom to get into this area up front when you're traveling. Huge screen. So they have this really big aftermarket screen up here. Chameleon. You can see how it kind of attaches back there to a single din spot. You have your cup holders, change holders, everything else you're going to need while you're traveling. Typical Ford van front to it, but it's nice. It's cozy. Power windows, door locks cloth seats, good visibility over the hood. 
This is built on their E cutaway chassis, so it's a uh, van front to it. Underneath here, this looks like it pulls out. So that is kind of cool. Looks like you put a pillow here, maybe this pillow right here, and you have extra seating. I like that. So check that out. It's a wraparound booth style dinette. And this slide really makes the interior of this look large. Coming up to the kitchen, talk about a huge basin sink. Thing's probably 15, 16 inches in diameter. You have a flip up counter here, which I really like. Nice little wraparound area, three burner cooktop. Nice little compact microwave as well. Storage here and storage down here. All magnetic holds, which I like. Use your refrigerator. This looks like the 12 volt Norc hold. Yeah, this is a 12 volt fridge. It's not the gas electric. Got some more storage beneath it down here. Super nice. Okay, let's work our way back this way. Tons of wardrobe storage in here. More storage down here. Coming into the bedroom, queen size bed. It's folded like this because once it's folded out, you can't get the slide in or you wouldn't be able to access the bathroom. So this gives you the ability to fold the mattress up whenever the slide's in. So the slide will fit in ultimately. Nice cabinetry there. You have your air conditioning unit right here and you have another air conditioning unit right there. So you have two air conditioning units in this very short RV. You have power, USB connections down there. Looks like some storage right here as well. Very nice. Now, you probably have access to the bathroom when the slide is in, but it's gonna be narrow access like this. So you could squeeze in here if you need to, but it's not gonna be like a super wide door opening. You won't be able to open the door like this. This is only available when the slide is out. So just keep that in mind. Slides in, very, very limited access. But if you have to use a restroom, you could always push the slide out a little bit just so you can get in here if you need to in an emergency. This is a porcelain toilet. I like that. Plus, check that out. So if you're getting ready in the morning, blow drying your hair inside, you have this cool little slide out tray or slide out shelf that you can use to hold stuff. Plus more area here. This looks more like a medicine cabinet, but you could also put other things here as well. And then you have your glass shower stall here. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that's cool. It has this kind of accordion effect where it follows a track. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. And then you have a reasonable sized little shower. You know, it's perfect for, I think, what most people would be looking for. If you're going to take like a cross country trip to go see your relatives, this would be a really good vehicle to do it in because it gives you all that capability of having everything you need with you while you're traveling. The only problem is once you get there, what are you going to drive around in? That's why I like a towable because, you know, you're not using your main vehicle as your get around vehicle. Once this thing's connected, if it's at an RV park, then you're good to go. If you're going to a, a you know, a place that you have transportation when you get there, then this would be perfect for you. But if you're going to an area where maybe you're just camping and you're traveling around and this is fine for your, you know, your travel vehicle as well as your sleeping accommodations. And, you know, that's just something you got to think about. You have to wonder, OK, when I get somewhere with a motorhome, if I'm not towing a vehicle behind me, what am I going to use to get around? So all the different things you have to think about and all the compromises you have to make with different types of RVs. All right, so from the outside, again, this is on a cutaway chassis, so you're going to get the hand-cooked tires that are included with the Ford vehicle. This has simulators, which means it's a steel rim with a, like a chrome stainless simulator that they put on the outside, pretty much chrome. Outside of your water heater, outside of your furnace, there's your exhaust pipe. You have a 110 outlet out here. You're going to probably have a little bit of storage under here. Yeah, you could probably fit some folding chairs. Gonna, it looks like a propane connection back here. LED lighting on the back. It has a backup camera, which is tied into the side view cameras up front. Probably storage. Yep, quite a bit of storage, actually. Not a lot of access from the very back, but you're going to have more access from this side compartment right here. Check that out. You can easily put an e-bike or two in here, which is nice. 
good amount of storage. And I like that it's easily accessible when the slide's in. Back here, you are gonna have a trailer receiver and you're gonna have a tow rating on this one since you can tow a vehicle. 7,500 pound tow capacity, 750 pound hitch weight capacity. So you could tow a small trailer with a small car on the back of this. All right, so coming around this way, got your 30 amp connection right here. Interesting, because it has two AC units. Right here, this is probably, okay, this is gonna be your city water connection, your outside shower, and your fuel tank. This is a gas engine, so keep that in mind. Underneath here, okay, so this uses the Super Springs ride control, so it's basically gonna give you a bit of a better ride. You can actually see where they've mounted it, right there. This is gonna be for propane as well as your generator. It's nice, I like it. Again, you know, if we were to get something like this, this would probably be a floor plan that we'd be interested in. Relatively compact, you know, it gives you pretty much all the amenities that you'd be looking for. It gives you two slides, so you get a lot of room on the inside when you're done. What do you guys think? Especially those of you with towables. Are you kind of on the same page with me on this one, or is this like an absolutely no kind of thing? Anyways, I'd love to know your opinion. Please leave a comment below. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.